Hello my darlings, joining us for an episode of Happy November! This was going to be the Halloween episode, but then my grandmother died and I was like, I am not tempting any Ouija boards with the Halloween spirit. Thank you very much. So we're going to celebrate November. Anyway, we are playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And yes, we are using the unofficial patch because I'm not a monster. We have a character creation screen and you know what that means. Makeover! <laughs> History. Homosexual. Is that a trait? I mean, obviously that is an aspect of somebody's life, but I didn't realise it'd be considered a trait. Ex swat? Oh, I have to admit, that is a little bit more impressive than homosexual. Even though I'm pretty sure you'll find homosexuals in people's private search history more than ex swat members. I want to show you something. Unfortunately, as you can tell by the masculine voice, I did not choose homosexual as my history, simply because I couldn't see anything that would increase the chances of something useful in the character sheets apart from the casual bit of lesbianism that would occur. Free condoms! Good on your chat! As you can see, I chose the attractive character because the fantasy doesn't always have to match the reality. That wasn't the worst ending to a romantic encounter in my life, I will be frank. The button on my shirt there is fighting for its life. Hello good sir, I am here to get to know you quite intimately, and by that I mean your neck. I need help, I forgot, I didn't read any of the instructions, I've made a terrible mistake. Blood drinking, blood drinking, how do I feast? Feast is F. Obviously, you silly sausage. Whilst I feed you, you can cop a fill. It's only fair after I punched you. Now, how do I open a door? No, we don't punch doors, because it hurts you, remember? Oh, it is. <gasps> They're going to give me a knife. Oh, no, it's a lockpick. That's a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for a knife. Okay, note to self. Don't mess with emo Shrek. I'll stay. Keep a watch out, you get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. You're telling me I'm a powerful vampire, but I can't break glass. Well, that's disappointing. Lock picking. Oh, this was not a skill I put any effort in. But since it's a tutorial, it's going to completely ignore that fact. Did I put any points in my hacking? I did put a point in computers, but that doesn't automatically mean you're a hacker. It just means you know how to hide things from the family members on the internet. Oh, I did! Congratulations! I didn't have to make an effort. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Why can't I go on the roof? I could be a vicious spying vampire. I mean, realistically, I couldn't. I'd be a vampire, I'd be lucky to get a bus. Oh, I don't want to hurt little rats. They're the most perfect little creatures. Harmless things. <laughs> ah. There's the strange long arm creature. Why have they given you such long arms? Is that your special vampire power? If that was my special vampire power, I wouldn't become a vampire. Yes, I know I'm not being very body positivity, but their arms are very long! Oh, look at that. I look like I need to go to the toilet when I walk like this. There is a young man in here with me. I'm just gonna let you stay here because, honestly, I, I don't want you to die. Not because I particularly like you, it just would make me feel bad. And also I feel, yeah, that's why he's not gonna be the first one going out the door because look who the fuck is there. Oh, I'm sorry, I swore. I'm sorry, this violent video game, I shouldn't be swearing. The children might be watching. That wasn't even my fault. He just reacted to his previous death. Look, there's blood previously on the wall from the first time. What's this? Not sure what's going <gasps> on. No! Sounds you didn't like eat the security guard, scattered. did you? Oh my goodness, not the security guard. Uncrouch yourself. Uncrouch yourself! Oh, please don't be dead. Oh, did, did, did you eat the security guard? Tell me. Yes. Damn it. Oh, goodness, there's more people I need to fight. This was turning out to be a much more chaotic night than I first thought. I just thought I was going to have a disappointing one night stand. But now I'm a vampire and I'm fighting people in the underground. And I'm pretty sure there's a security guard that's died because of me. I don't have a mouse wheel. Excuse me, I need to go and get my mouse. Oh, for goodness sake, I didn't realise I required a mouse. What is this, the 1980s? Yes, I know. I'll clear out the area. You'll follow behind. And then you act like you're doing me a favour. 
what a toxic relationship this is turning out to be. We're going to get out of the crouch position and we're going to change this blasted weapon. Not big on guns, but I do love hitting people. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all. There's only two of them. I don't imagine it's really a gang if there's only two of them. It's a duo at best. And here we are in my grotty little apartment. We've just had our first taste of being a vampire. And with that, that is the perfect time to end the video because I'm lazy. If you've enjoyed today's video, hit that bell because I do not have a schedule, clearly. But until then, don't get bitten by anything. It's probably not going to be a vampire. Best, it's probably going to be a very kinky swinger.